Well, her first reaction was, oh, this is metallic leather, madam. You know, you have to expect that there's more wear and tear showing. And I was looking at her, so I was thinking, I've worn this bag twice now. Well, you know, because it's metallic leather, um, you have to expect some wrinkling. It's not wrinkling, it's cracking. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I cannot believe I'm making this video but hey ho here we are. So today we're going to talk about my beauty and I can only tell you guys I love her. I love my new Chanel 22 bag. It is such a vibe um, to, to, to style this bag and wear it out and oh you know I, I really enjoy it. I love this color. This color is so me. We know that. Um, I've ordered a bag organizer as well which should come hopefully in the next couple of weeks from Samorga because you know right now I have it stuffed um, just with kitchen roll. <laughs> Imagine if there was no kitchen roll in it. You could basically lie it flat. It would not stand up on its own. I love this bag. Was wearing it twice so far. Twice. And guys, today we're going to talk about some quality issues. Not only um, when it comes to the Chanel 22, also what I found on their website. But when it comes to all of these topics that we're gonna cover today, um, I just wanna quickly address that we're gonna talk more in depth about this on the weekend. Well, tomorrow actually, yeah, on Saturday, over on Super Day Cops channel. So, you know, it's gonna be live again. Definitely come and join us in the live chats and, you know, give us your opinions because I think it's a really important thing we have to talk about that I noticed. Before we get into the issues with the Chanel 22 bag and what I've noticed on mine after only wearing it twice, um, I want to quickly show you something. Can you guys see that there's a missing pearl again somewhere? When I was like on the Chanel website, I was just looking at all the new bags from the Métier d'Art collection, uh, Chanel 22A, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, look at that. There's a pearl missing on this clutch again. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, just a quick little, you know, joke for all of us, because you guys know, I don't know if you've actually seen my original video from like a past collection where like there was a stone missing in one of the earrings and then they photoshopped it on. I just thought that was funny. And then one of you guys, one of my subscribers was actually sending me this on Instagram, that there's another stone missing in one of their necklaces. And I was like, wow, okay. When I see those pictures on their website, honestly guys, I immediately see, you know, there's a crystal missing, there's a pearl missing. I don't know why they have nobody working there that's like checking the pictures before they go live on their website, but it's Chanel. <laughs> what do we expect? Okay guys, so I would say let's get into this. My beauty. I have worn her twice so far and you know, I like I said, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. I then, after the first time already wearing it, you know, I'm very OCD. I like to check my stuff. I like to know that it's okay. I was like just checking the stitching and the leather. And what I noticed, what we talk about today is this area, this area here where the strings, the straps basically disappear in the back, you know, it's this drawstring kind of style, right? So, again, just to give you an idea of the area we're talking about today, it is this area here where the weight of the back is pulled upwards. So, we're gonna focus on that. I was looking at this bag and I was noticing that at those edges, basically, there's a tiny little bit, it's probably really hard, I'm gonna put a picture up so that you can see it better, that there's a tiny little bit of cracking um, next to the stitches, to both sides of the stitches. And I was like, wow, I've only worn it once, now I've worn it twice, and why is that happening? Because guys, if you can actually see all the other stitches of this bag, um, it's not happening anywhere. Else. Um, it's only happening up here. Let me try and actually capture this on tape as well. It's so difficult. Um, I hope my camera will focus on it. Let me try it. There, can we see it? Yes, right. That is the cracking that has started. And it's basically happening next to every single stitch. Um, when it comes to these edge stitches and yeah it, it should not happen obviously let me show you in comparison these are regular stitches can you see there's no cracking happening 
not cracking basically neither of the leather nor of the metallic coating with the edges we can see it right it's a lighter purple color so i don't know if the leather is cracking or if that's only the metallic finish there we can see it it breaks my heart a little bit guys it really does. Yeah, I decided to go back to Chanel and just, you know, show it to somebody and get their opinion if, if the bag is fine, you know, what should I do? Because, I mean, what, what are you going to do? This is an everyday bag. You like to carry it. It's not like a bag like the crystal or like the pearl Chanel bags that you take out for dinner once a year. This is a bag I want to wear and enjoy every single day. I went to Chanel and obviously to, due to privacy, uh, reasons I cannot show you that footage, but I thought we can reenact what happened there. Also, guys, before we get into the reenactment, I quickly have to tell you something else. When I noticed this, that this was happening on my bag, I decided to go on Instagram and stalk other people's Chanel 22 bags, and that's where it's gonna be your turn, guys. If you own a Chanel 22 bag already, please let me know in the comment section down below and check your bags too after you finish watching this video and you know exactly what we're talking about. Because obviously we're like guinea pigs right now, right? <laughs> um, we are the first kind of generation of people who have this bag because they basically just released it. Um, so I think we are their guinea pigs and you know, we're the first ones who are gonna notice any flaws with this bag. So it's important that you guys let me know if it's happening to your bag as well or not. Okay, so I noticed when I stalked the pictures of other people's Chanel 22 bags on Instagram, I zoomed in, you know, and I was like, okay, let me see how their edges are. I noticed that some of the bags, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about a small size, a medium size, a large size, you can find examples for every single size, every single color. I noticed that the stitching on the edges is different, and I was a little bit shocked. I don't know, can you see right there that... Um, the stitches actually don't go over the edge. There's no edge stitching, if you want to call it like that. However, if you look at another bag that's rather built like my bag, the stitching goes over the edges. So I was thinking, wow, okay, let me have a look at more pictures. And I found, like I said, here's another example of um, a bag without the edge stitching. And I found a lot of these examples, but then also I found the bags with the edge stitching and I was thinking how can that be how can you have two different construction plans for the same bag and that's when Dacob comes in so I was talking about this obviously to Dacob from Super Dacob and Jesse from Jesse Style and Dacob was saying you know what maybe they produce those bags in different factories maybe they pre-produce those leathers somewhere else and then they get shipped to the factories and then obviously you know you do the last little steps basically in one place maybe there's different shifts of workers you know but then why would they have different construction it's all a myth um, but i noticed that and even on the chanel website even on fashion file i stalked you know pictures to see wow why why is that and i noticed okay you know what guys and that's why we talk on saturday tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow evening uk time about this on super day Cops channel live and then it clicked and i realized oh my god obviously if you don't have the edge stitching that's a lot of work a lot of pre-steps you have to put into creating that bag to to get that beautiful result where it stops you know where it's bent over obviously right here and you would have to you know know that this is gonna be the edge folded over beautifully so that there's i hope my camera picks it up guys i hope you guys know what i mean what i'm talking about but if you don't have this edge stitching obviously your bag will wear better because the entire weight of the back is pulled up by these drawstrings that disappear in this little leather loop inside the bag. So of course you will expect the most wear and tear here. So if you have a bag like mine where the stitching goes over the edge, of course you see the leather cracking or the metallic coating cracking on top. Um, whereas if you just have this leather loop, you know, the bag will wear better. 
because there is no stitching, there are no holes inside the leather where the weight of the bag gets pulled up all the time. So I was thinking, wow, okay, that is quite an interesting discovery, right? I am a little bit worried because I wanted to use this bag as an everyday bag and now already discovering this, I'm like, you know. So when I went into the boutique, obviously I explained the situation to the sales associate and I have to say she was lovely, she was nice, She she's just a sales associate, she couldn't do, you know, anything else. She couldn't work any magic and like give me a new bag, obviously not. And you know, I bought the bag in Europe and Paris and with the tax return and everything. Like it's not as easy as if I would have bought the bag here in London, I guess. But I explained the situation to her and well, her first reaction was, oh, this is metallic leather, madam. You know, you have to expect that there's more wear and tear showing. And I was looking at her, so I was thinking, I've worn this bag twice now. Well, you know, because it's metallic leather, um, you have to expect some wrinkling. It's not wrinkling, it's cracking. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, let me take the bag downstairs. And I was like, okay, well, you know, my first reaction was this. They're just looking at my bag now. I just hope that they're not gonna scratch it. <laughs> and what their opinion is on the cracking. Um, a little bit worried, because I really love the bag, obviously. Then she came back up with the bag and she was like, everything is fine with this bag, madam. Um, it is because of the metallic leather, you would have to expect more wear and tear. Also, it depends on how often you wear the bag. I just re-emphasized that I wore the bag twice. Well, it should not crack, madam. Um, if it does, uh, you have the five year guarantee and you can always just bring it in. That that was it. That was it, basically. So yeah, that was my reaction afterwards. The moral of the story is... I'm supposed to wear the bag. If something happens, then I have to bring it back in. If it cracks even more, you know, it's a five year guarantee and let's see what happens. Don't wanna, don't wanna lose this baby. So yeah, guys, that is my little story time with this bag. Please let me know if you find, if you have the Chanel 22, if you find the edge stitching on your bag or if it's only the leather loop, basically. Um, I think, you know, these bags with the edge stitching, have they been made on a like Friday afternoon when people just, you know, wanted to get home quickly? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's gonna be very interesting to see what all of you guys are saying. Um, and I, I still love this bag. I will wear it like she said. My issue is if I keep wearing it and if it gets really bad at some point, you know, where I'm like, okay, I have to take it in now and now it's like a fact, basically, they can't ignore this. They would have to say, okay, you know, it, yeah, it's a flaw. We're gonna give you another bag or we're gonna give you the money back. By that time, they won't have that color anymore and that color is everything to me. I love this bag so much. Because it's Metier Da, you know, it's, it's sold out quickly and you won't ever get those colors, leathers, finishes ever again. And uh, like I said, I guess we're the guinea pigs. We're the first generation of people with this bag, so we will notice flaws and see what's going to happen. Okay guys, so that was everything for today. Again, join us live tomorrow evening, Saturday. Uh, over on Super Day Cops channel for the live stream and we're gonna talk about this and it would be amazing if some of you who actually own this bag would join so that you know you can give us your opinion on it live and we can react to it um, immediately. That would be awesome. Okay guys so that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes we do and I see you again very very soon guys. Bye.